the last thing that we're going to look at is how to export your notes out of Notability into another program. First, take a look at my notes list. Notice that all of my notes look basically the same on the created option except for my note called Note May 27th. That is the note we recorded the audio on, so you'll see the bars that look like a bar graph. That means that there is a recording attached to that note. That's the note I'm going to select to export, so I'm going to tap to open. Here is my note. I want to export this note out of Notability to send to my teacher or to send to someone via email or to send to Google Classroom. This is how I would do that. You're going to tap on the share o button. This time it's in the left hand corner, so the square with the arrow popping out. Then we have to pick where do we want to send it to. We can send via email, those cloud accounts, a printer if you have a printer attached to your iPad, or other apps. So I'm going to tap other apps. It will then ask me what format do I want to send this note out as. Mine says PDF, so we're going to tap on that option, and you'll notice you have four options on how you can send this. PDF, which allows it to be viewed by almost anywhere. It's read-only, so the text cannot be edited inside. PDF is good if you want to share a note file document with students. If kids are sending their notes to you or a worksheet they completed using Notability, I would suggest they use the PDF format. The only time to use anything else would be if they recorded something with the audio recorder. If there are audio recordings on the note, then they need to make sure and you need to make sure that you select the note format as the format you want to share with. So those are your top two. Your next one, if you want to share this as an image file, select image file. And then the last option is rich text formatting, RTF. And that will not include any handwriting that is on this document or any PDFs that you've embedded into that note. So again, number one best bet is PDF, unless you are wanting to share something with a recording. I'm going to go back to the PDF option so that you can see the selections that can be made with the PDF specifically. You can change the page range so you can select only certain pages to be sent. You can turn on the paper option, which would embed this grid background into the PDF. If paper is turned off, it would be a solid white background. Recordings would send the PDF version of the notes and then also attach an audio file with the notes. Again, they're not synced together. And then you can have your page margins turned on or off. Note, they don't apply to pages with imported PDFs. If I want to preview what it's going to look like, I would tap View. And there's a preview of what this would look like with uh, white margins around the edges and my grid. If I turn off paper, the grid goes away. And if I turn off page margins, this would go to the edge of the page just like it went to the edge of my notes. When I'm then ready to send this, I would tap Share Note. And what I would always suggest is save it to your files first. If you try to send it directly to one of these other apps, especially Google Classroom, sometimes it can get lost in that transition from Notability into Classroom. So what I would suggest, save to files. And then now I can go into Google Classroom and add a material with an attachment from my files. There's my note. It's attached. And I can send it to my students. And there is my note file that students would then be able to send
out to notability. So one more time, make sure your format is PDF. If you want anyone to be able to view it, write on it. It doesn't have recordings. You want to make sure that they can't edit any of the changes that you have on your notes to begin with. If it is something that has a recording attached to it or you want them to be able to take your notes and make changes to it, send the note file. Remember, the note file can only be viewed with Notability installed on the device.